Hey guys, how y'all doing today? It's Howard here at English Rock 50 and welcome back to another Blue and Steve Bells mod video. This is one hell of a special modded video. Today, modding has gone to points where it has never gone to before. We are going to be unlocking 5th tier towers for very specific towers. 5th tier upgrades for towers, which is going to be hella dope. No, the uh, boomerang that's currently on the screen, the glaive lord, that's not 5th tier tower. That's just randomly buffed 4th tier. I have no idea why it's buffed. Apparently, glaive lord isn't good enough, so let's just give it 4 more rotating glaives. Herder seems balanced. Herder, herder, herder. <laughs> so we're, we're going to continue up, uh, along this, and we're going to talk about just this literal thing is, has not been done in modding before. It was assumed to be impossible actually to mod it into the game but Jambite figured out a way and he figured out a way to make it work in multiplayer so you could probably make it work in like single player and sandbox mode only for battles that is relatively easy but also to get it work working in an actual like private battles so that like the information is sent over the server yeah that's uh that's uh in a hell of a feat so we'll be showing off this video i got the boomerang on my side i'll be showing off that fifth tier boomerang and iceb's got his engineer which you can actually see the fifth tier in action what the fuck is going on balloon traps everywhere Ten thousand sentries purple ground semen are we just gonna die holy shit we almost died that was that was pretty <laughs> pretty embarrassing down to 14 lives with boosting turns out six uh, rotating glaives still is not enough so clearly we're gonna need way more defense in order to defend these harder and harder balloons we're gonna have to whip out the fifth tier towers now not every single tower has uh, the fifth tier upgrades just the the boomerang the engineer and also the dark monkey dark monkey has 50 years as well but we won't be seeing that this video i realized that after i and i played the games that we probably could have just done like multiple 50 years in one video but the footage is made and i guess we're like too busy to record more so we are just gonna roll with these games this is pretty dope games considering how close we are to death i'm like all right i might as well just try to get like an ice tower up here but now this is where we get to test our abilities too Three ZOMGs coming into our side and the BFBs. We don't exactly have the greatest late game defense right now. I mean, we do have a Super Monkey, but that guy's expensive. We're not going to be able to afford it. So we're going to do the next best thing we can. Unlock the fifth tier towers. We got our fifth tier right side boomerang and now the side is insanity. What the hell? That is a lot of uh, glaives just popping out of that boomerang. That was the ability. But now, since the ability's ended, it still does a crap ton of damage. It shoots out a massive circle of glaives. Then, if you activate the ability, it sends out, like, an impenetrable wall of glaives. Like, what the hell? Just two of those abilities took down that massive 3 ZOMG plus BFB rush. What the fuck, Jambite? Honestly, you are giving me cholesterol because I cannot handle these fucking <laughs> abilities. They're all super OP. But hey, it defended. I guess I can't complain. I said defended as well. So we're going to take this a bit later. See if we can uh, also defend with the mob being stronger and stuff. See, so yeah, just, just look at these 2-5 uh, boomerangs. I guess that's what we have to call them, right? Because they're two fives, And uh, they just naturally shoot out for some reason. Like, I think it's I think it's 28 glaives in all directions. I don't know what it's actually like if it's like 0-5. I assume it'd be non-glaives. I assume it'd be actual, like, fucking... It's <laughs> just shoddy boomerangs. I don't know, but there's the OMGs coming back, so we're gonna take it down. We got Ice Tower helping us out. We got Mortar as well, because we got Camo Detection, and I'm too lazy to buy back that Glaive God, Glaive Lord thing. So, yeah, we're just gonna use the Mortar for Camo Detection, and Super Monkey is a standard tower for hashtag Epic Late Game, because if there's one thing I've learned from playing Jam Blitz mods, it's that that they're going to be busted, the upgrades are going to be busted, and you're going to go hashtag out of late game. There's no way out of this. Like, look at this. Round 33, round 34, ZOMG's just being annihilated by the 5th tier boomerang ability. Oh, it does it! Just the camos and da 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 We die. <laughs> Just, just randomly out of nowhere. That was, that was honestly pretty bad. <laughs> so, I... In, in what world does the 5th tier boomerang ability not detect camos? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> honestly, I don't get it. 4th tier boomerang, that, that ability attacks camels, but the 5th tier boomerang doesn't? Like, what? What? So, not knowing that, I just randomly died to it. So, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it did anyways. So, I guess it's actually not that busted. It can't defend camos. So, it's clearly not OP, OP, OP. So, we're going to bring in this another game on Waddle Trees. And we just get to see the raw power of the 
a fifth tier boomerang without even activating the ability. It's just defeating all these natural moves and the insane amount of balloons inside. There's a lot of stuff that has to take down and it doesn't really have that much support. Maybe besides that destroyer shit and that uh, glaive god which is kind of doing okay. Like, you know, I mean it's doing a little bit but it's clearly not doing as much damage as our fifth tier boomerang so we got to see the right side of fifth tier boomerang but we have not seen the left side yet and the left side puts the right side to shame if i had to say so myself yeah i, I thought like 20 billion glaive shot out was as op as it gets nope we're gonna whip out the elemental tower v2 for the left side fifth tier glaive god boomerang whatever the fuck you want to call it look at this dude so it keeps its rotating glaives, but it shoots out massive amounts of fire, shoots out massive amounts of lightning, it shoots out glue that does damage to mod balloons and slows them down, and I'm sure there's some other shit in there that I can't tell, probably some explosions and all that, but yo, let's take a look at ISAP side, that's where all the action's at right now, I'm trying to go in on him, I'm trying to go in, dropping all the ZMGs I can, but he's, he's like 20,000 freaking sentries just chilling on his side and all the balloon traps so he gets massive amount of stacks from it as well, like he is <laughs> somehow defending, and there's literally nothing I can do, it seems like balloons are getting far, but he continually just can is able to hold it off, and he's actually making progress on the balloons too, so I'm like, well I just gave up, game's causing a little bit of lag, but it's actually not too bad. Believe it or not, fucking, <laughs> despite there being like 20,000 sentries on ISAP's side, my one fifth tier boomerang causes just about as much lag as those. Uh, it'll be a bit more noticeable as we go on to this game and maybe the next game, but the, uh, the freaking fifth tier boomerang is a lag fest. It is honestly bizarre that lag so much and that <laughs> for some reason ISAP's not just like like look once you see the uh, like the game slows down specifically once the glaive god dude is like doing a lot of extra damage I think it's because the lightning I think it's like the lightning is trying to branch out to every balloon possible and that's what's causing lag so clearly uh, that's no bueno it's not like normal lightning wizard can only pop 20 this lightning could probably pop like a, a thousand or something like that maybe that's where all this popping power comes from I don't know, but we have 69 lives, I, I just realized that now, so that clearly means we just need to buy more, uh, freaking 50 boomerangs, get those guys in the front, because if one of them can defend pretty much infinite ZOMGs, imagine what four of them could do. Well, we, we're just set forever, and we're gonna take the super lights. So I think we're actually getting to the point where Iceps toaster is starting to get the best of them, so I'm gonna try to put them out of his misery once again. The previous ZOMG rush did not work that well, so we're gonna do a round two of this. Come on, ZMG is dropping quite a few of them, literally doing it non-stop. I got the map filled with 4-2 farms, so really earning as much money as possible. Uh, eco is worthless at this point, because after sending all these ZMGs, my Eco would be zero, no matter what I started at. At least, probably. Yeah, Isep still got a secondary source of income, though, from all those balloon traps. He's getting, like, plus 900s, plus 1,000s up the ass. Yeah, he probably has more money than I do, and he has way less farms. The thing is, though, he can't actually do anything with it, because his screen is completely covered in sentries. So if he wants to buy more towers, he's got to sell about 20 sentry guns, and then 20 more will, will replace it, because he doesn't get to decide when they come. They just start coming. But it's okay, we killed him. We put him out of his misery, boys. It's A-OK. -okay. The fucking boomerang though like my four of them compared with all of his sentry gunners all of his balloon traps and we're gonna just watch the fifth tier uh, left side boomerang just annihilate the zmg basically by itself without any helps whatsoever this guy does the tech game on his own so i don't think the mortar is actually too useful here but you can never be too safe i think at this point i just want to get this you know uh, keep this mortar up and keep everything up and yeah the game is lagging a little bit like I said again 50 boomerang for some reason it just lags and the reason why it lags even when it isn't shoot is, is probably because I said it's lagging that's okay it, it's still pretty fluid on their side it's not like an actual bad lag so I should stop complaining about it huh so specifics of these upgrades the right side boomer ability that costs 13,000 and it you know gives you a new ability that's better than the turbo charge and it has that base attack that just does so much more if you've already activated the normal turbocharge ability, then upgrade to the new boomer, the ability does not reset, you still have to wait, which is a bit of a shame, you can get screwed over by that. I almost did in the past, but haven't recently. Also, these freaking round 34 ZOMGs, absolutely dust. Absolutely dust. Is that one or two Glaive Gods in there? I can't tell. So the Glaive God itself, or the 5th tier left side boomerang, that guy costs, I think, 18,000, 19,000, something like that, which is... 
severely underpriced. <laughs> uh, I guess I shouldn't expect anything else, hey, but it, it clearly kicks ass. It is clearly doing very well, and we're going to continue on this Swamp Mania. Ice Step side is even more clustered. I think he re recently used the ability of his fifth-tier engineer, which kind of works as, like, hypersonic sentries, or just creates a bunch of sentries, and they're, like, mega sentries, I think. Uh, hence the redness of them, I want to say. That's just my guess, though. Like, it's insane how clustered his center is. Uh, you literally cannot see anything. I guess you can see the balloons when they come by. Man, I guess it's just as much of a clusterfuck as my side is. So we're going to continue. So getting those up. And you can see the uh, glue is uh, stuck on the BFB, slowing them down. So you don't even need, like, a slow uh, tower like the ice or the ninja. You don't even need that because the freaking <laughs> the freaking glaive god's going to do it itself. So we're going to do what we did the last time. Lag's setting in, so we're going to put Ice have out of his misery. Hopefully. Potentially. I don't know. ZMG come rush coming in, and he does have a pretty decent defense so far. I mean, perhaps to him holding off. We're holding off because he ain't rushing us. I don't think he even can rush us if he wanted to. So we're going to keep sending and keep sending because we can literally just non-stop sending ZMGs. We got so much money saved up. All these banks. And I'm definitely not spending on towers because clearly I'm overkilling the balloons already. I could probably get away, get away with selling everything except for one freaking Glaive God. But I ain't doing that. Uh, I don't want to fuck myself over accidentally. That would be pretty bad. No, that would be pretty bad indeed. And actually, it does get so bad that ISAP ends up DCing. He would have lost anyways, I'm sure of it. So yeah, that was uh, that was the 5th tier boomerang. And also somewhat featuring the 5th tier uh, engineer on ISAP's side. All things considered, this was such a cool mod. And I'm thinking Jambite's going to continue working on it. I'm really excited to see if he continues working on 5th tier towers because... Uh, I, I was just amazed by how, how he was able to pull that off. Never seen it done before in the history of modding battles. And I don't know if anyone even could do it. Like, I, I think he had to fucking get into the, the assembly code or that kind of shit to work on this. Like, I was looking at his Discord and seeing the stuff they go through. Honestly, ridiculous. So, hats off to you. And uh, thanks you, thank you for letting i7 and I test this. We had to... We had to do like a lot of different methods just to be able to play it too. It wasn't working at first, but we got the bugs fixed out. And yeah, all right, enough rambling. Let's close out the video. So thanks for you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the 50 tier tower mods. That was pretty dope. I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be modding or not. I know I owe you guys a modding live stream because everyone wants it. It's just gonna take a while to set up. I may, I mean, either want to do it with like someone like SJB or ISAB, or if I do it with subscribers, I gotta do a big setup in Discord, and that's kind of a pain in the ass. I, I wouldn't mind doing it, it's just I don't know if I'll have time. We'll see. Keep, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, live stream tomorrow. Hope to see you guys there, and peace out.